Yeah. yeah. So if we're talking about like the cyclical movement pattern, we're talking about absorption and force production. So if I'm gonna be on my right limb, I'm gonna be in a tall split position and I'm gonna be in an absorption phase on my right side. So I'm pronated, dorsiflexed, uh, flexed and internally rotated and I'm gonna be flexed, internally rotated and adducted. I'm gonna be right rotated at the spine, uh, at the scapula, I'm retracted, anteriorly tipped and upper, uh, downwardly rotated. Uh, upwardly rotated, yep. And then I'm extended and internally rotated at my humerus. And this would be position A, and it's also labeled as flexion rotation on, limb, on that limb. The next would be a tall split, which is labeled for the spine as extension, left extension and rotation. Uh, I'm still on the right limb, and now I'm in a, a production pattern here where I'd be plantar flexion uh, at the, f uh, and it's top down, right? So then um, it would just be the, res uh, the reciprocal positioning where everything else is now reversed, right? And that would be right road, uh, uh, if we're talking head down, right? So then it would be uh, contralateral rotation at the spine relative at the cervical spine relative to the torso the torso or spine is in left rotation and then I'm uh, protracted upwardly rotated at the scapula I'm flexed and externally rotated at the humerus at the hip I'm extended abducted and externally rotated and then I'm extended at the knee with external rotation plantar flexion at the foot and the ankle, and then we would go into the reciprocal pattern where then I would be there. Uh, 